Hi, I'm Lindsay Steffens with Francis Cray & Associates. We are the lighting designers for the newly renovated Christ Cathedral, which was formerly known as the Crystal Cathedral, completed in 1981 by Philip Johnson. It is a postmodern masterpiece and has been redesigned for the Archdiocese of Orange County. The architect is Johnson Fain of Los Angeles, and the landscape architect is Rios Camante Hale, also of Los Angeles. We are part of the design team that has brought this amazing masterpiece back to life in a new incarnation as a Catholic cathedral. A beautiful array of quatrefoils was designed as a system to direct the daylight as well as to provide a place for the electric lighting which is embedded behind some of the quatrefoils. One of the key objectives of the design was to bring the focus from the exterior world to this interior meditative space. And so the purpose of the quatrefoils is not only to shade the sun and provide the acoustical dampening for the orchestra and the organ, but it's also to realign the uh, center point or focal point of the people that visit the cathedral so that they're internally focused and meditating and focused on the interior space versus the exterior world. As the sun set, the quatrefoils create an incredible effect of projected geometric light as well as organic dappled light onto the surfaces. Here is a detail of dappled light on the walls of the worship space. One of the biggest challenges of the lighting design was to design a system that was uplifting and also mitigates the glare and heat gain that was coming in through the all-glass structure. So within the quadrifoil panels, there's an acrylic liner behind the perforated metal which serves to diffuse the sunlight and diffuse the, uh, the LED light but it's also uh, aiding the acoustics by absorbing the sound waves and reducing the reverberation. You can hear them tuning the organ in the background. This is the fourth largest organ in the world, just refurbished and back from Italy. The baldachin creates a more intimate space above the altar, as well as serves as a place where we concealed our lighting that shines down onto the altar. This dome was illuminated and is now being gold leafed by hand. So I think what's really successful about the quadrifoil design is that it's not symmetrical or regular or repetitive. It's, it's very random. And so it creates uh, a dappled effect with the light, but also a kind of fabric effect with the building perimeter. So it feels soft as an enclosure and it's uh, it's complex enough that you don't read the rigid ge building geometry of the uh, existing trusses. Here we can see the truss system that holds all of the quatrefoils in place. In designing the um, lighting for the uh, quadrifoil panels, we uh, came up with over a thousand points of light. There are approximately 600 in the ceilings. We're up in the west balcony where we can really get a nice view of the illuminated geometry of the space. Now that the sun is down, we can really get the effect 
of this glowing lantern. This project has been truly a unique opportunity for Francis Crane Associates. And it's been a great honor to work with the design team in such a monumental piece of architecture. Thank you for joining Francis Crane Associates on this exploration of the lighting design for the Christ Cathedral. Just a last view at the nighttime and the exterior of the building glowing from within.